Hi guys, I'm excited to share with you a cool volunteer opportunity we had which was helping Sep find some predatory snails. Yes, you heard it, we got to sweep through the forest to see if there were any rosy wolf snails, which by the way, would eat our native kahuli or native snails. I talked about the rosy wolf snail in my invasive species video, so definitely check that out, I'll provide a link in the description. SEP stands for the Snail Extinction Prevention Program. Back in the days, our islands were full of these beautiful multicolored kahuli that once were the voice of the forest, as the wind would trail through their shells creating song. Unfortunately, one reason the kahuli is disappearing is due to introduced species like the rat, feral ungulates, the rosy wolf, and even chameleon. The islands were home to over 750 native tree snail species, and it is estimated that most of the populations left will be gone in less than 10 years if there's no urgent action taken. In 2018, it was documented that about 200 species still exist, but will only continue to quickly decline. Thanks to the work of SEP and lab researchers, they're doing all they can to prevent another George. George was the last of his own species, a 14-year-old that had lived in the captive breeding facility his entire life. On New Year's Day in 2019, George died, officially marking the Acatinella apex fulvo species extinct. I've listed video links below that I recommend are worth watching about this devastating crisis. I only hope we can give more time to save our kahuli. Good morning. Such a beautiful clear day. We are here with Sup. Believe it or not, we're gonna be doing something with the predatory snail, rosy wolf snail, to save our kahuli. So I don't know what exactly we're gonna be doing, but I'm just super stoked we get to see snails. After hiking for some time, we reached the snail exclosure and learned how this mechanism keeps out the predators, especially the rosy wolf snail. The first barrier you see at the very bottom is a 15 degree uh, metal angle. We try to keep the snails out of the box and what happens is the Ulandino will crawl up and get stuck. Um, snails don't have a reverse, they can only go forward or turn. There's a second barrier and underneath it is cut copper mesh creates like this pokey surface. Apparently snails have a, a reaction to copper. Uh, it's some kind of ionic exchange that they have. Copper mesh, hopefully they fall back down and gotta go under the angle again. To get past those two barriers, the final barrier is two pairs of oppositely charged uh, copper bands. So as they cross over, they just need to connect two of the uh, different wires, either positive or negative and they'll close the circuit and get lightly, uh, lightly shocked. It's a, it's a 12 volt battery, low, low amp. It cooks slugs, but it apparently does not cook the rosy wolf snails. They're pretty light colored. They get pretty big. Yeah, they're kind of this like light blush color. Their natural habitat is up in the canopy. If they're on the ground, um, they'll be on top of the leaf litter. They, if, they, if they find themselves on the ground, they're not gonna like burrow under leaf litter. They're, they're, they'll either be on top of the leaf litter or they'll be trying to find their, the next tree to go up. Those are slug eggs. Oh, you're told to some <laughs> shit. Ew. Ew. Oh, squish. those little rake This was my first time volunteering with SEP, and the work we did involved us crawling underground or staying hunched over, sweeping through leaf litter. 
much different from the conservation volunteer work I've done in the past, like pooling weeds or planting natives. I felt my knees and back the next day, but I can't complain because I got to work helping out our Kahuli. This experience will always stand out to me for sure. When I would take breaks standing up, I would just peek through the plants and see if there were the Kahuli. The native snails that lived in this exclosure was the Acatinella mustelina and the Acatinella concavospira. I see a shell. Huh? There's a shell in here. First shell I found. Here. That maybe for Yeah. I was running to anyone. Okay. Yeah, but um. Snails too. Yeah, right there. Yeah. It's right there in front of you. Yeah. No, no, I'm looking for more. I actually, I think right now. I know this may sound weird, but it was just so cool to see so many snails in one day. There were four on this one tree that we could not miss. How awesome was that? The SEP workers would place any live kahuli we found on the ground and place them in this mesh basket wrapped around a tree for them to crawl out and get back on the canopy. It was so cute seeing the snail's progress. It was an awesome day and we're just so thankful to have this opportunity to just be with the snails. Thankfully, we didn't find any rosy wolf snails. Not that I'm aware of, which is a great sign. I hope you enjoyed this video, and again, I recommend watching the videos I've listed in the description if you want to learn more about our Kahuli. If you want to have volunteer trips like this, visit dlnr.hawaii.gov volunteer. Till the next one guys, aloha!